Mark Fields is the CEO of the Ford Motor Company, or maybe I'm going to have to start saying the Ford Mobility Company, because Mark, <laughs> right behind us here, we've got this autonomous fusion with these spinning LiDARs, and, and I just learned that Ford's got some sort of partnership with Velodyne, the company that makes these things. We've been working with Velodyne for quite some time, and what we announced, what we're using this show for is really showing how we're, we're transitioning from an auto company to an auto and a mobility company and all areas of uh, progress in what we call our Ford Smart Mobility Strategy, and part of that is autonomous vehicles. And what we announced yesterday is we're nearly tripling our research fleet of autonomous vehicles, and we're using Velodyne's third generation LiDAR system. They call it the puck because it looks like a hockey puck. Now I know the first ones, the, the, these kind of spinning ones, were something like $70,000 a piece. I'm sure the puck is a lot less than that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of following Moore's law to a certain degree where the capability keeps increasing and the costs keep coming down. You know, it's still relatively expensive, but you know, our objective is, you know, how do we work down the commercialization curve here so that when we come out with our autonomous vehicles, it's going to be accessible to everyone and not just people that can buy luxury cars. You've been talking about this for a while. You said Ford may not be the first, but you're definitely going to be there. And clearly with this partnership with Velodyne, you're taking the steps to get there. Absolutely. And you know, importantly, to put into perspective, we've been working on autonomous vehicles for 10 years now. It goes all the way back. We were the only Ford, we were only factory sponsored team back in the 2005 DARPA competition. And so we're building on it. We're actually on our third generation of our autonomous vehicle platform. And our aim is to get to what they call level four autonomy, which is basically in a, in a geofence or defined area, the driver does not have to get ready to step in. We're talking about a whole lot more than just autonomous cars here at CES. You keep developing sync, and it seems to me it's more than just connectivity from the passenger to the car, but from the car to whatever. Exactly. What, Again, one of the other areas we're highlighting here in Ford Smart Mobility is the continued growth in sync. And what we announced is that we've added more, uh, more programs to AppLink, which is our, our, our software that will allow you to control your apps through your dashboard or your vehicle controls. We've added Apple CarPlay, we've added Android Auto, and also Sync Connect, where our vehicles by the end of the decade will have 10 million L, uh, 4G L, L, LTE vehicles uh, connected to the web. But also to your point about connecting cars, in the area of da uh, uh, data and anal or customer experience, we also announced a uh, we're working with Amazon to actually integrate the car to connect to your smart devices in your home, which is kind of cool. Okay, why Amazon? Well, Amazon is a proven innovator, and the other reason we're doing this, they have a new product called Amazon Echo, which it has a product in it called Alexa, which is it's a basically a cloud-based uh, voice assistant. And what you can do in the morning is wake up and say, you know, Alexa, please start my car because it's 10 degrees outside and I want it to be warm and toasty by the time I get in it. Or when you're coming home, you can say, Alexa, please open my garage door, put my door, you know, my porch light on. It's all about how do we make people's lives easier and how do we as a, as a, as a brand empower them and give them the convenience and peace of mind of a Ford experience. I was here at CES last year. Drones were one of the big things, and now you guys are doing something with drones too. Tell us what that's all about. That falls in the area of data and analytics of our Ford Smart Mobility Plan, and what we announced is a drone a developer challenge to, for, for developers to come up with an application to have a, a very quick deployable survey system that could be used, for example, by the UN in disaster areas. Think about a drone in the back of a F-150 pickup the UN worker gets to the disaster area, it could immediately be deployed and launched from the, the bed of the pickup truck, do its, its survey, and actually the UN person could be driving to another area in the, crisis, in the disaster area, and then because the drone is linked to the GPS system in our truck, we'll be, able, we'll be able to land back into the bed and therefore make the UN worker a lot more productive and hopefully get those emergency services there quicker. But there's other, who knows, other applications in agriculture for farmers, a bridge inspection, construction, lots of opportunities where people use our F-150 trucks and drones. Is this some sort of developer challenge that you're throwing out there then as to what can be done with these drones? Absolutely, where uh, we're the top prize is uh, $100,000. Okay, well, no, let me start thinking about this. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if you could code well, we'll take it forever it comes from. But uh, yeah, we really want to encourage you know, these creative uses where we can integrate our products with things like drones and, and smart devices to make people more productive, make them more efficient, and be able to complement and find the, a, a really unique taste to using our Ford vehicles.
Real good. Mark Fields, thanks so much for your time today. Very interesting what the Ford Motor Company is doing, especially here at CES. Thanks, John. Keep tuning in. We got more coming from the floor of CES. It's never been a more challenging time to be an automaker. Everyone, it seems, is trying to get into the car game. To stay in business, you need to out-innovate the upstarts and outpace your competitors. You need a partner to help you envision the future and get you there. Mitsubishi Electric can help you build heart-racing, awe-inspiring products with the quality you expect, exactly as designed, faster than you thought possible. We innovate to realize your vision without blowing the budget or slipping the schedule. We help you offer everyone in the car a premium user experience, provide the latest in consumer connectivity, and build systems that integrate ADAS and infotainment without jeopardizing safety or time to market. We are Mitsubishi Electric. You know us for our quality. Get to know us for our innovation.